Hello everyone, Jeff Johansen here. I run the Pasadena office for Insurance Office of America. We're a property and casualty provider. My focus is to have my clients have happy employees. I believe with happy employees, you're just gonna do extremely well as a company, profitability, etc. And I have here today, Marissa Marquez, and Marissa works with AMC Solutions. Hello, Marissa. Hey, Jeff, thanks for having me. My pleasure, would you like to give me a little comment on your company sure. and what you guys do and sure. your role? Yeah. AMC has been around for about 15 years. All right. uh, we are a managed service provider, which means for some of our clients, we are their entire IT department, and for others, we work with their in-house IT. Uh, we have a proactive approach, much like your proactive approach to insurance, uh, which means that we have a very integrated relationship with all of our clients. Uh, my role specifically is uh, managing all of our operations. So in addition to all of our processes, which we are an extremely process-based mm -hmm. company, I manage our staff. And uh, that is something that's uh, probably my fa the favorite thing that I do. Because yeah. I do believe having happy employees not only excels an organization, but that spreads out to your client base as well. When your staff is happy, they're able to happily serve your client right. base. Well, great. I'm glad you're here today. We've got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. So how does your process help employers with technology create employee satisfaction or satisfaction with their position? Absolutely. So first, we, we have to really get to know our clients. So when we're in the process of just meeting a prospect, we are really getting to know everything about the business, mm -hmm. where they've been, where they're at currently, where they want to get to, but also understanding who is their workforce and is that workforce going to grow? What's the average age of their workforce? Mm -hmm. What's the technology they're currently using? Because just because there's a great technology out there, if their workforce can't adapt to it, it doesn't make sense to just throw this, this process in. Yeah. Uh, we also help them, since we're so focused on processes, we build those, help our clients build those processes okay. within their own company. So we look at IT is how do we make their employees as productive as possible, help them increase their profitability, but also in the long run, that equates to employee happiness. When right. your employees right. don't have issues, when everything is just running the way it should, mm -hmm. when they can get out of the office on time because they're not held up with a system that's not running properly, right. they're happier and it helps build on culture and allows us to really push the business forward and help them grow. You brought up age and it makes me think, I hear a lot of people talking about millennials and the struggle that they have with millennials. How do you see millennials and technology incorporated into um, an employer's facility, assisting or not assisting? Sure, so millennials are the first generation who are really completely dependent on technology. They grew up with technology mm -hmm. and they bring this new culture to the workforce and to their employers as well. Now, technology can be something that draws a millennial candidate in. Yeah. It could also be something that really takes your, your workforce and can deter them from staying with a business right. if it's not up to date. Um, with millennials in particular as well, we're looking at the fact that in eight years, they're gonna make up 75% of the workforce. So how do you future-proof your business around that? Um, we see millennials who want more flexibility in, in being able to work from home right. or in the office. So is your system set up for that? Right. Are your employees able to have this mobile workforce? And when you consider that as well, are you protected mm -hmm. from what that means as, as we see all of these threats that exist around us? So I would see or anticipate that there are prospects that you've gone into that are fairly, no, I'm good, I don't need this. And um, like, like myself, you guys take the proactive approach and um, making sure accidents don't happen and that sort of stuff. So the soft cost, so when you get someone to buy into what you're doing and they keep track of the soft cost, I'm sure that they're very grateful that they brought you in. What kind of soft costs do you see being reduced with technology? Typically, it is payroll. Okay. So when you're able to have not only a really productive staff, but perhaps it's the ability to automate systems that 
an employee used to do, whether that is data, running data reports. Um, we have systems, you look at what has happened with printers nowadays, mm -hmm. where now a Xerox copy machine can scan and upload into a CRM or into a data system what used to take an employee time to manually right. enter. Now we're looking at lower payroll mm -hmm. and really being able to utilize technology to push the business forward, mm -hmm. but also reduce those costs that, um, that owners usually have to consider and less liability as well. Right, right. What positive impact have you seen from employers who at first resisted doing the IT upgrades of you know, modern technology, the new, the new shiny things out there. Af after they've gone through and kind of said, I don't want this, but finally got into it and, and took care of it, jumped on board, what impact have you seen from those types of employers that embrace technology? Sure, we, usually the resistance is the perceived cost. Right, A lot of business owners will look at IT as the hard cost of what is it going to cost me every month. Mm -hmm. They don't look at the soft cost of what is the impact on my workforce, what is the impact on productivity, right. uh, what is the impact on my bottom line as well if I have to hire more employees because the employees I currently have aren't as productive. So usually the feedback that we do get is that increased productivity not only results in a more motivated workforce, but now they also, that one or two additional employees that they thought they needed to hire, they no longer need. Right. Because their efficiency has, has improved. Okay. And a lot of, you know, feedback we sometimes get or questions we sometimes get asked is, well, how quickly do you pick up the phone? Because my current IT provider always answers the phone or calls me back within 30 minutes without asking themselves, well, why are you having to call in right. the first place? Mm -hmm. So, you know, really once they step back and they see that that investment has not only reduced the noise that they have of needing to call in constantly, but things just, when things just work, you can build a strategy. You can continue to push your business forward. So in kind of tying up this conversation, I think our solutions are fairly similar. I'm looking for a proactive approach for my clients where I want to be in there and addressing accidents before they happen. And I believe that you guys take the same sort of approach Absolutely. also with regards to minimizing any disruption and being ahead of the game. As one of your clients as well, we can attest to that. I think that we are very similar and which is why we enjoy working with you so much is you often come to us and say, hey, you have a company vehicle. Are you also considering the certain either mm -hmm. trainings or certifications for your staff yeah. who may be driving this vehicle? So now you're being proactive to prevent us from actually having to have a claim or any issues. In the same regard, our process is really to be on site at our clients every month at the bare minimum. Uh, our clients get one on site visit per month. Mm -hmm. um, some of our larger clients it's as often as four times a month or you know a week right. a month because that constant maintenance you have to constantly be proactively mm -hmm. um, keeping your technology in check and then building a strategy around it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Marissa. Again, Jeff Johansing, um, helping you create happy employees.